What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, 207 Nano Reefing. Um, today I think we're going to go over my wave makers. I know, I know that I've already done a video on them, um, but this was before I got my cross flow, and I only did a video on my little wave maker. I call it little, but it's really not little. Um, so I've got two wave makers in my, in my tank. I just recently put the cross flow in, and I, I, I really like it. Um, like I said in yesterday's video, if you turn them both all the way up, it's way too much flow for my tank, but I've got the cross flow at 45% and the uh, wave maker over here, the Higer wave maker, well they're both Higers, but we got this one um, on a random, so I can't adjust the speed or anything it's all completely random it it doesn't go constant though it's it's always like a pulsating usually it's always pulsating for the flow <laughs> um, but I feel they do a really really good job you know I, I've got some surface agitation here I could I could and I'll, I'll show you guys in the video a little bit later I could angle this one the cross flow up a little bit more but I feel like I'm taking away the flow for my sticks and my SPS. Um, now, am I? I, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure it's still getting some flow, but it doesn't, to me, it doesn't look like it is when I have it angled up a lot more than that. I try, I've, I've been playing with them a little bit. Um, I leave this one right alone. It's, it's usually always angled up. I think I might have to readjust it. I had a snail on it last night. Um, and this so freaking big, dude, that I think the weight kind of uh, angled it back down. I don't know for a fact, but I think I can get that to go angle up just a little bit more. Um, but we'll get a close-up of it here. But a little side note, my algae bloom is getting taken care of. I tell you right now, between the hermits, the emerald crab, and the urchin, and the snails, man, they are doing some work. Um, that urchin, even though he's so small, he's completely just about clean this whole area. I still got some long stuff right here, but not even close to what I had before. Like, I'm going to say, don't quote me on this, but I'm going to say, I'm going to give it a week or two and my tank will be fucking spotless. I, I really, really think that's how it's going to be. Um, and Sunday, of course, I will manually remove some. So that will be good. Uh... Yeah, so back to the Higers. Um, this one, I've, I've got them both on a random right now. Um, but like I said, this one you can change the percentage. I got it at 45. Any more than that, I really feel like it's too much for this tank, and it's just going to overpower everything. Now, maybe when my sticks get bigger, they might want more flow. I, I, I don't know. Um, but... They're both pretty simple to use. Both come with controllers. Um, I can show you the controller, but I'd have to turn the lights on uh, because one of them doesn't light up. Um, they both have feed buttons that you can hit it. And then um, this one, the, 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 the little wave maker, I call it, um, it will automatically turn back. So it'll turn off for 10 minutes and then it'll turn back on. This one doesn't have the auto turn on. So once you turn it off, you have to hit the button again to turn it back on. Um, but yeah, I got them both on random. And it, like I said, they do really good for me. Um, I really like the Higer Wave Makers. I, I know I've only been in this for a year. and They're honestly the only ones I've ever used. But I really like them. They're really easy to take apart, really easy to clean. Um really easy to use. I mean, if I could figure it out, anybody could figure it out, you know. The booklets help so much. This one was a little different. I had to figure out what buttons did what. Um, but give me 15, 20 minutes reading that little pamphlet it comes with, that little book it comes with, and I, I figured it right out. It did take me a minute to, to um, put it in. I, I had it for almost a week, I think. And before I even put it in, my buddy at Main Reef was picking on me. Oh, put the fucking thing in. <laughs> so, I did. <laughs> um, but 
But yeah, so we'll get a little close up of it here on both of them. And I'll let you see the surface agitation. Now, if you guys in the comments think I need more surface agitation, go ahead and, you know, let me know. Um, like I said, I can angle that one up more, but I really, really feel like it's taken away from the flow. Because the pasta lapora is blowing right now. The, po the polyps are blowing. If I angle that up, it kind of stops doing that. The GSP is getting it, but it, it don't really need the flow like the SPS does, so... And I've noticed on my Slimer too, yesterday when I had that up angled more, the polyps didn't seem like they were blowing as much. Um, so, like I said, it's going to be a trial and error thing for a little while here. Um, just try different things. And if I have to, maybe I have to angle it and then turn the turn this up 5, 10 more percent. You know, I, I don't know. I have to try that. I haven't tried that yet. So maybe that's something I try next. Um... But yeah, give you guys a close-up of it. That is the cross flow. I really like it. I'm not going to lie. It gives me so much. Sorry about that. It gives me so much surface agitation. You can see it on there just moving, so moving the waves. There you go. I get a little wave motion here. And then this one doesn't really have a lot of surface agitation. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but um, it does have some. So they're both getting surface agitation. Both of them are getting surface agitation, which is what you want. So um, I'll show you the controls. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. So this is the, oops, shit, there it goes. This is the, uh, yeah, hold on. There we go. This, this one right here, oh, is the uh, Higer Wave Maker. And then this one is the Higer Cross Flow. And I know you guys can't see that, but it's on 45. Yeah, it's not going to focus. 45. Um, but that doesn't light up, so you can't really have a hard time seeing it. But you can see the other one right there. It's See those uh, lines going up? That's that's the pulsating motion I was talking about, and that's the speed that it goes to. So the, the more lines you see, the faster the propeller is turning. Propeller, yeah. Propeller is turning. Um so the more lines you see, the more flow you have. So, um, yeah. But that's the wave makers, guys. Nothing real special about them. Just, you know, Higers. And that's the cross flow. I don't really know what that one's called. It's not the little one. It's not the 12 something. It's like the 24 or 28. I'd have to look it up. I really don't remember. But it's not the little one. Um, this one this one supposedly can do a 60 gallon tank. And this one supposedly can do another 60 gallon tank. So I don't know. It, it, I probably honestly could do more. This one, this is quite, quite, a, uh, quite a beast when it needs to be. But you guys can see the surface. Yeah, see, look at that. Look at the surface agitation there. But you guys can see the algae. Still got that algae outbreak right there. But that'll take care of Sunday. But look at the back rock there. The, the Duncan rock is completely cleaned off. Back here is completely cleaned off. Back by the Digi. Digi's a little pissed off today. I'm not sure if a hermit... I think a hermit got on it last night or... It could be that the urchin was on it last night, too. I don't really know. He's right below. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's below the digi a little bit. So, but he is doing some work, that urchin, man. That rock was covered in algae, and it's not anymore. It's You can see the white on it. You know what I mean? It's spotless. So, and same with this rock. This rock, the hermits have completely gotten all the algae off this one. And now they're moving on to this one. You can see one right there under my Slimer. Just hanging out. But 
I'll give you a little full full view now that you guys I mean you guys have seen this anyways but but everything's going really good really really good we're gonna get on track I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, test everything this weekend um, my Hanna nitrate tester came in waiting for my phosphate one to come in I just went and bought them all I I know they're expensive but the convenience of them is fucking unbelievable so I'll test everything this weekend and I really think once I get the algae out of here I'll, I'll start getting nitrates and phosphates in here but everything's definitely growing I, I definitely am growing uh, the coil definitely is growing because that bird's nest right there is definitely growing. I got some pictures when I first saw it, and it's got a couple more branches that's that's poked out, and it, the, the branches um, to the right there, the, the longer ones, have gotten longer. So the garf has definitely encrusted. It's encrusting over the glue, and the rainbow just came in yesterday, well, two days ago, so that's not encrusting yet, but it's coming. And the slimer, man, that, that, that thing just loves life. Absolutely loves life right there. And the Apostle Pora is loving it too. It's not getting... it. Uh, the bottom branch there is not polyps aren't extended, but I think it's because it's not getting much light on the bottom. The, the bigger branches are covering it up, so that is what it is. It'll, it'll grow. But yeah. Well, that's the tank, guys. Um... Again, higher weight makers. Two, I got, I got two of them in the tank. Probably don't need two. Um, the this one over here definitely cranked up. Had plenty of flow for the tank. Um, once I put it in the right place or whatever, it definitely had enough flow for the whole tank. Um, but I brought the cross flow in just just for shits and giggles, really. Uh, and let's see, question of the day. Um, what do you guys feed your coral? Uh, for me, I feed them a mixture of reef roids and mice shrimp. Um, I know there is all kinds of stuff people feed them. Uh, so what do you guys, what do you guys feed your coral? That is question of the day. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, answer question of the day. And thanks for watching guys. Have a good day.